The Padres take three out of four from the Braves despite a terrible bullpen performance overall throughout really the whole season so far, not having Tatis back, and they blow out the Braves today thanks to Nelson Cruz having a career day at the plate. Juan Soto looks to be heating up. Hassan Kim's looking like a good hitter at the plate. This is all very good signs. South Lugo and Michael Waka, what great performances yesterday, Waka, Lugo today. This is my reaction to this game today, the 10 to 2 victory in the series. <laughs> The first thing I want to get to is how this is a huge, huge tone setter for the entire season. The Padres did not have the best homestand coming out of the gate, but luckily we take three to four from the Braves. You know, Xander Bogarts is still looking pretty good. Manny's starting to heat up. I hope he starts hitting for power. But Nelson Cruz and Juan Soto are the guys I want to talk about. Nelson Cruz had a day today. He was hitting all the mistake pitches, anything in the zone he was crushing. Hopefully he stays hot for us and is a big impact player in this lineup. And Juan Soto is starting to heat up a lot more. Yes, we got to get that batting average up, but I think it will get up. The OPS is already just hovering around 800, despite everybody telling us to, you know, trade him or he sucks. Like, yeah, he had a very slow start and he's still kind of getting out of that. But Juan Soto is looking better and he is going to be really good this year. But I want to talk about what this series means. The Padres were ranked third in power rankings out of the gate for 2023 rankings behind the Astros and the Braves. And the Padres just smoked the Braves today. This series is great and a great tone setter for the season because it was a really just all around good series. Yes, the bullpen is not looking great now, but we do not have Robert Suarez. There are guys who are injured that are hopefully be coming back and guys who need to develop a little bit more into the season. And hopefully as the season goes on, they'll get stronger. But we did not even have Tatis and we did this. The Braves are loaded, if not more loaded than the Padres. Probably not quite as loaded, but the Braves are unbelievably good. Austin Riley, Michael Harris, I know he did not play this series. Ronald Acuna Jr., Matt Olson, the list goes on and on. The Padres have holes in their lineups. We can't deny that. The Padres don't have a great bullpen and their catchers suck. Austin Nola gets on my nerves. I don't think I've ever seen a guy miss so many hittable fastballs right down the middle. And I know it's a fastball at like 95. That's not so easy to do. Trust me. I understand that. But when that's all he's seeing and he's seeing all these hanging curveballs and he just cannot seem to put the bat on the ball and hit it quite hard at all. It's so frustrating to see. I know Capisano had one hard contact late yesterday, but it just wasn't looking good. But the Padres, they're really solid, but we do have some holes in the lineup. Obviously, it's highlighted by the bullpen. But without the superstar Tatis, we still take three out of four and have a huge, huge series win against the Braves. As we go into New York, we got you Darvis tomorrow going up against Max Scherzer. That should be fun. It's game one of the wild card, kind of a throwback to that when the Padres absolutely crushed Max Scherzer and Trent Christian made him his son. But this is a really fun series for us to be building off of with more confidence and just continue to understand that we are a good team. And when Tatis comes back, we're going to be even better. Juan Soto is heating up. Nelson Cruz is looking great. Once Manny starts hitting for power, this team's going to be firing on all cylinders. I am so excited to see that. I just want to see the bullpen get a little bit better. Huge, huge starts for Michael Waka and Seth Lugo saving the bullpen because when we have to have our bullpen throw, you know, four innings, it is not good. You know, the bullpen's getting taxed. They're just not looking great right now at this point in the season. And having a guy go six, seven innings, that is huge. Michael Waka, obviously the biggest highlight of the series, in my opinion. Seth Lugo is a close second. But I'm going to talk about Nelson Cruz. Like I've been saying, he's looking really good. And as long as he's hitting those mistake pitches, he's going to be a really good bat in the lineup for us for only $1 million. I mean, let's be honest. He came to San Diego to ring chase. He's at a point in his career where, you know, it's almost over. You know, I don't think he's going to get the 500 home runs. And even if he does, I doubt he'll make the Hall of Fame because of all the, you know, steroid getting busted for that. But he's ring chasing right now. You know, he wants to ring. San Diego's the place to do it. And hopefully in 2023, after this year's over, we'll see one of those. But I don't know. I'm just super excited for this series because it's a great tone setter for the rest of the year. I'm super excited about this win today where the offense absolutely exploded on Sunday Night Baseball. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this series is a really good tone setter for the year? Do you think, it, you know, it's just any other series? I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're yet to do so. Give the video a like and turn on that post notification bell. If you guys like Padres baseball and baseball in general, this is the place to be. But for now, that's it for me. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Yo, next is what they do. They ain't what mates do. Got a lot of girls that'll love to replace you. Tell it to your faithful.